if you want to transform yourself into a phenomenal shape like Michael B. Jordan in Cree movies, this video is for you. Today I will tell you how you can use jump rope to transform yourself into the powerful shredded physique like MBJ's character Adonis Cree. The key is you can't just do steady pace skipping, you must be doing high intensity jump rope training. Today I will show you two different high intensity jump rope training methods and I will also give you a high intensity interval training workout which you can start doing today and I recommend you do it consistently at least three times a week. If you do that, you will begin to lean down fast. Okay, so the first exercise that I'm gonna show you is called high knees. So basically you're gonna skip rope doing high knees. The reason I wanna show you this exercise first is because if you're a beginner, this exercise won't take a long time to learn. It's basically just like if you do high knees in spot without jump rope, just like that, you need to catch the timing with the jump rope and skip every time you get your knees up, you do the quick wrist circle to make the rope go under your foot. Should look like this. Once you get that down and you wanna advance that, you can add crossovers to that to pick up the intensity and mimic Michael B. Jordan and Creed movie. And the second exercise that I'm gonna give you is called double unders. Basically, it's an explosive jump and every time your feet take off the floor, you have to spin the jump rope twice for the rope to go under your feet twice while you're in the air before you land again. It's an explosive jump and the quick spin of the wrist. You have to do it twice, use the momentum off of that, keep your elbows tucked in close to your body. And like I said, it's a flick of the wrist and when you, you wanna create the momentum to spin that rope really fast twice every time you take off the floor. Before you start doing it with the rope, I recommend you just get a feel for the explosive hop. Should look like this. So basically, when you do that, every time you take off, every time your feet take off the ground, your wrists need to do this. Pop, pop, twice. Pop, pop, all right? So everything together should look like this. So now that you're familiar with these exercises, I'm gonna give you a simple high intensity interval training workout, which you can start implementing in your own training and that will help you maximize your results. This method is called 2010. So what I want you to do is find a timer and set a timer for 20 and 10. So the bell rings every 20 seconds and then 10 seconds, okay? So what you're gonna do, once the bell goes off for the first 20 second interval, you grab a jump rope and you start skipping nice and easy, totally comfortable pace. Once the bell goes off for that 10 second interval, that's when you do either high knees, high knee crossovers, or double unders as fast as an explosive as you can. Once that 10 second interval ends, you go back to 20 second interval and that's your active recovery, okay? So you do skipping again and you try to feel that stamina bar back up to get ready to explode again for 10 seconds. And you're gonna repeat that three times in a row for a total of a 90 second round, okay? And then after that 90 second round, I recommend you rest about 60 seconds, maybe a little bit more if you want to, and repeat that at least five times, okay? I recommend you do that at the end of your strength training session to maximize your results. So why do we actually have to train high intensity versus low intensity? I wanna make an example with runners, okay? So if you look at uh, sprinters versus marathon runners, right? They both run, they both train running, but they train differently. Sprinters train as fast as an explosive as they can for 10 seconds and then the rest to recover versus marathon runners can run for hours and hours at the time, right? So they both train running, but they train different muscle fibers. Uh, sprinters train what's called fast twitch muscle fibers, which is a strong and explosive muscles, bigger in size. 
uh, marathon runners train what's called slow twitch muscle fibers, which are muscles that can endure a longer steady pace type of work for a longer periods of time. Uh, and that's why they look different. They both work hard and train hard, but the physique results are different. So that's the reason I want you to train high intensity interval training style jump rope versus long steady pace. And guys, this workout won't work unless you have all of the other aspects of your life covered and support your fitness results. And I'm talking about proper strength training, proper nutrition, proper recovery, which is sleep and everything uh, that comes to it, right? So if you're, if you're training uh, correctly, but you go out and uh, drink beer and eat uh, burgers and fries every day, uh, most likely this won't work. So make sure that all everything that you do on a daily basis supports your fitness goals. And that way, I have no doubt that this routine will help you lean down faster.